I just want to show you something real quick why we uh, do not till and that we are on a small um, plot so our method of no-tilling with mulch is doable now, obviously on a larger scale tillage is a part of a lot of operations and if they're not tilling they're putting down chemicals to kill the weed so either of those I would say is not a, a good option uh, but I just want to show you what it looks like so till it I mean as far as tilling being a major cause of erosion um, it's not just rain that can cause bad erosion but if you can see the tractor going here see the plume the plume of dust behind it and that's not settling it's going up into the air and blowing away so all that material organic matter um, a lot of times it's organic matter because it's well dust is really fine too but organic matter is actually a pretty light too and it's bound to the dirt particles and so the organic matter uh, would be blown away with that and also with tillage it creates a lot of oxidation it introduces a lot of oxygen into the soil which oxidates the organic matter burns it off pretty much it's not like a fire but it, it burns it off in a very um, smaller sense um, but yeah so that's erosion happening in action right now and that's why even though the soil is not really much growing here that's green we always keep it covered to prevent erosion on the windy days and on a larger scale obviously keeping your fields and pasture and grazing them yeah might might take more work to move your cattle on the land but it actually uh, for the soil health it's it's a huge plus it regenerates it and doesn't degenerate it and there's all other sorts of um, pros obviously the fuel of the tractors and all that you don't have to uh, take on the expense of all that if, if your animals are on grass and harvesting the the forage themselves and dropping their manure right in place where where they harvested the grass but I just want to show you real quick it's always um, very eye-opening to me when I'm out here in the garden working and I look in the distance and I just see plumes of dust going uh, and that's obviously I'm out here probably breathing some of that in so yep not only is the dust blown away but if there were fertilizers or chemicals put on that field a lot of time, uh, especially glyphosate, doesn't work down through the soil. It stays on the surface of the soil. So when they work the fields and the dust blown, is blowing away, the, if the glyphosate hasn't fully broken down, I mean, the half-life de depends on it as far as if it's in the dirt, water, as far as what the half-life of it is. Um, but either way, Roundup or any other herbicide, there still be residual amounts in with the dust. and. Um, as that blows away it carries the, some of those chemicals into the air with it so. so that's why we in our garden we don't use any chemicals whatsoever and we don't even use any fertilizers only compost so i was out here actually raking some beds we're planting some carrots in these beds Thanks for watching. Till next time, eat well, live well.